It's one thing to talk about the border crisis from our cosy studio here in Los Angeles, but it's something else entirely to be there in person and to see what's actually happening at these detention centres. I spoke to someone who experienced exactly that. After families are split up, the kids are held in one of over 100 detention centres around the US. But what's daily life really like in these facilities? It depends who you ask. There's videos, there's TVs. Temporarily housed in what are essentially summer cramp camps. I spoke to an, uh, some African Americans who say, gosh, the, the conditions of the detention center are better than some of the projects that I grew up in. All right, that's clearly a lie. <laughs> she doesn't know any African Americans. <laughs> but finally, someone with first-hand knowledge is speaking out. Meet Antar Davidson. For a few months, he was a youth care worker at a Tucson detention center run by a government contractor called Southwest Key. And it was filled with kids who had been taken from their parents. But two weeks ago, Davidson resigned, claiming what he saw happening to the children in the facility was immoral. I sat down with Antar to hear his story. Over, over the last six weeks that I was there, you started to notice a rise in just little kids like how young the official like term is tender age so that means under 12 so we went from having five of those of these quote-unquote tender age kids to about 70. news stories say that it's like summer camp is that a fair thing to say i don't know what kind of summer camps they went to but <laughs> everyone's seen the ProPublica audio at this point and heard what that sounds like now you got to imagine you're hearing that in every other room and you're just hearing kids crying for their mom what happens with a four-year-old or a six-year-old when they're crying or they're having a temper tantrum? What are you allowed to do to comfort the child? We start to get a lot of refresher courses on these what are called CPI holds. It's like physical restraints to be placed on kids. What do you mean physical restraints? Uh, like ways to hold them and like physically like grab them and, and restrain them. So they started teaching us these more and more. Give me an example of a method where how you um, You put your knee in, its ba in the kid's back and you hold both of their arms. And what would be uh, a, a, an action that a child was doing where you had to put your knee into their back and restrain their arm? Well, these, I mean, you've seen a kid have a temper tantrum, right? I have, <laughs> I have, I've seen adults have them. So they use the CPI holds, physically grabbing them, and these kids had no idea what was going on. And these are not necessarily childcare professionals. These are people who formerly worked in construction or retail, or, and this is like slightly more money than, than, than one of those jobs. So you can work at Best Buy and sell televisions and stuff like that, but for $2 more, you can restrain a child. Exactly, yes. Right, well, yeah. are the kids allowed to bring anything with them? A teddy bear, a photo of their parents? For the most part, they check in their belo personal belongings on entry and they store it. Oh, like when you're in prison? Yeah. What is bedtime like? <laughs> bedtime is the worst. Bedtime is essentially when the workers are at their tiredest, right? They've worked a full shift, and they're also being asked to, a lot of them to stay even through the night for another shift. You would see kids fighting each other and running up and down the stairs, and the workers are just too tired to even do anything, and they're telling you over the radio, if the kids aren't put in their rooms, then no one gets to go home. Why did you quit? Um, basically, uh, these three Brazilian siblings came. They were the first, the first Brazilians to come to the facility. And the brother, when I first started talking to him and he saw that I spoke Portuguese, he immediately burst into crying. And he said, my, they said my mom's disappeared. In Brazil, when you're, so the government tells you that your mother has disappeared, it means she's dead. So he first, I had to first calm him down and say, your mom is alive. And then later on in the evening, they called me on the radio and they said, Antar, we need you to come over here and tell these kids that they can't hug. What, what, sorry, I, sure. wh why can't they hug? They have a facility-wide uh, no-touch policy. So when they found out that they were going to be separated, the little siblings grabbed onto the, other, the older sibling and they were all crying. And I come to him and I say, bro, for your, for your sister and your brother, you have to be strong from them. And, and he, just, he just like looks at me and he's like, how? With tears streaming eyes, how? How can I be strong? Where's my mom? I mean, what, what am I gonna say in that situation? And then the shift leader comes in and she goes, Diles que no pueden abrazar. Tell them they can't hug. And I told her very plainly, like, I'm, I'm sorry, as, as a human being, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. What do you say to people who say that these uh, people are just criminals who are coming in illegally? 
<laughs> I'll say you weren't there with me in sucking up dust with them. Well, you know, you know, four-year-old criminals. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah. I look at it like this: there's there's no time in history when we've looked at children being torn away from their parents, and we've looked back on it and gone, we really nailed it. <laughs> As the human race, <laughs> anything that involves the word camp, like there, there was a camp for profit that held kids in prisons. And I remember thinking, oh, those were the good old days. Right? This is progress. Yeah, this is progress. Isn't our show funny? <laughs> we reached out to Southwest Key for comment and received this response. As a matter of policy, we do not comment on employment and human resource matters, though statements made by Mr. Davison are false, including the claim that the children are not able to hug.